Perhaps more than any other candidate running for president, Elizabeth Warren is at home on a college campus. Before she was Senator Warren, she was Professor Warren. I love being on college campuses because these folks are the future. And my campaign is all about what kind of future are we going to build. The 2020 contender made a stop at the University of New Hampshire Friday, connecting with students who could provide decisive votes in the first in the nation primary. UNH is an epicenter of the student debt crisis. Forbes says as of 2018, students here carried the highest average debt load in the country with more than $36,000 each. It's a burden is what it is at the end of the day. It's stressful for everyone who is affected by it. Warren told students Congress is already working to simplify the federal student aid application process, and she tells News 9 a comprehensive plan for tackling student debt is on its way. I'm going to have a big policy rollout on this very soon, so stay tuned on the details, but you know where my values lie in this. This is all about how we build a future, and we don't build a future by crushing the hopes and dreams and plans and opportunities for young people. Warren, who spent the evening campaigning in Portsmouth, is trying to lap the field with those big policy rollouts. Her latest is a proposed 7% tax on corporate profits above $100 million a year, which would raise an estimated $1 trillion over the next 10 years. What can we do with that money? Think about what it would mean to reduce the student loan debt burden. Think about what it would mean to make the investments in universal child care and universal pre-K. In Durham and Portsmouth, Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.